Kawasaki Z125, 2019 on, review. Modern Aggressive Styling The Kawasaki Z125 Naked Roadster was launched alongside its also all-new fared Ninja 125 Sportster in 2019 and marked a return to the 125 cubic centimeters A1 license class for Japanese firm after a 25-year absence, apparently after an extensive market research program by its R&D team revealed a hunger for bikes in this segment. The two bikes share the same four-stroke engine and rolling chassis but the dramatically styled naked version benefits from a taller, more upright riding position, two kilograms less weight and a slightly lower price, all making it even more tempting to first-time riders. Kawasaki says the two bikes mark the beginning of a new, stronger focus on the European market. At the heart of both is an all-new liquid-cooled, four-stroke single-cylinder engine which Kawasaki says delivers a mixture of mid-range and top-end, and with close to the legal limit of 15 brake horsepower on offer, it's certainly one of the more attractive A1 propositions currently available. Ride Quality and Brakes Although bargain-priced and inevitably built down to a price, both the Naked Z125 and its Sports Ninja 125 sibling use an attractive tubular steel trellis chassis modeled on that of Kawasaki's range-topping H2 supercharged Super Naked. And although the 125 machine's suspension is a little basic, with conventional, rather than fashionable inverted telescopic forks up front and only preload adjustment on the single rear shock, the combination works well and Kawasaki don't appear to have cut costs. Both ends are on the firm, sporty side, but they also have progressive damping and aren't simply uncontrollable springs at either end like some budget 125 machines have. Engine Both of Kawasaki's new 125s, the Roadster Z125 and the sports-styled Ninja 125, are powered by the same, new, water-cooled, four-stroke, single-cylinder engine which is loosely based on that of the old Ninja 250SL. Its peak power of 14.7 brake horsepower, or just shy of the 15 brake horsepower A1 maximum, comes in at 10.000 rpm, which is just 500 rpm short of the redline while its maximum torque of 8.7 FTLB arrives at 7, 700 rpm. Overall, to get the most out of the engine you have to disregard any mechanical sympathy and thrash the poor little thing to within an inch of its life, as is the case with most 125s. However adequate, easy travel does take place lower down the rev range. Reliability and Build Quality The build quality, detailing, finishes and general reliability records of nearly all modern Kawasaki's is almost without exception beyond criticism with special case standards having made a noticeable step up in recent years, and the Z125, although a relatively simple, budget-priced, novice offering, is no exception to the rule. Owners generally are very impressed with their bikes with one commenting, excellent build quality. It feels well put together and reliable. Better still, many of the Z125s, and Ninja 125s for that matter, mechanicals and components are derived from those of the Ninja 250SL, which was introduced, back in 2015. Value versus Rivals The upfront value and low running costs of Kawasaki's new Z125 are one of its biggest attractions. On the one hand it's a stylish, mini Z1000 with most of the appeal and performance of, say, Yamaha's class-leading MT125. On the other hand, however, the Kawasaki is also one of the cheapest offerings of its type, certainly among the leading Japanese manufacturers. It's almost £1,000 cheaper than the Yamaha, although the MT125 is admittedly newer and better equipped. And, when you're 17 and starting out in biking, that sort of saving, which could be spent elsewhere on, say, insurance or bike clobber, is important. Equipment This is the one area where the more affordable Z125 stands out as being different to some of its more premium-priced opposition. Although ABS comes as standard on the little Kawasaki, as do its pedal brake discs and digital clock, the Z125 hasn't got all the bells and whistles of some rivals, although it does have most of the things you actually need. Specs Engine size 125 cubic centimeters Engine type liquid-cooled, 4-stroke single Frame type tubular diamond, steel Fuel capacity 11 liters Seat height 815 millimeters Bike weight 146 kilograms Front suspension 37mm telescopic fork Rear suspension unitrack, gas-charged shock with adjustable preload Front brake single 290mm pedal disc Caliper, dual piston 
Rear Brake Single 220mm Pedal Disc Caliper, Dual Piston Front Tire Size 100 divided by 80-17M divided by C52S Rear Tire Size 130 divided by 70-17M divided by C62S MPG, Costs and Insurance Average Fuel Consumption Annual Road Tax 22 pounds Annual service cost £180. New price £3,799. Used price £3,200 to £3,500. Insurance group. How much to insure? Warranty term 2 years. Top speed and performance. Max power 15 brake horsepower. Max torque 8.6 FTLB. Top speed 72 miles per hour. A quarter mile acceleration. Tank range, 